Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, yeah, today, this week, week 3 week 3 folks and this week has been interesting I mean of course, uh, I kind of got my appetite back after the first two weeks first two weeks was quite legit Is I didn't really want to eat much and even though I had to, you know, like buy food uh, for the family, you know, for my wife, for my mom. Uh, I do buy for them, you know, and life is still the same. You know, lunch, dinner, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know that that thing. But for me, I like I said, the first week I kind of didn't really eat much. Second week, I gradually had my appetite back. Partly because again, in my second week, if you watch my. Uh, video over here. Uh, my second week, I tried to one meal a day only, and it didn't work out. So I had to eat. And this third week, yeah, I've been eating quite a, quite a few spicy food, and my appetite came back. Uh, I do, I do feel the the bloat here and there. The bloat is pretty like right now. I'm still feeling it and. It's partly because it's just, I think it's just digesting and as with all IBS uh, people who have IBS which is Irritable Bowel Syndrome you tend to feel these tummy wrangles, uh, tummy indigestions here and there and then the, you know, when you, you get bloated and I tell you this much, it's, it's something that we have to live on with and try to be mindful of what we eat and try to not um, eat more of it like for instance in like I said in my week one I did mention that in Singapore there's way too many bread shops in Singapore and we you know with bread and gluten you can't really eat them and I still nibble on it because hunger kicks in and lo and behold you, you get the bloat and then you feel you feel it lah. You, you feel it so uh, I do one thing it did help me of late is caffeine Caf I actually abstain from caffeine this is my third week which is quite amazing because all this while I do drink coffee coffee is one of the main triggers for me and I've actually abstained it uh, quite quite a bit I've not drank coffee I've not drank my Red Bull I've not drank anything that has or eaten anything that has remotely any caffeine in it which is interesting uh, that definitely helped me with it and how do I stay awake? well I try to manage it lah, I guess it's, it's something that we just have to live by and hopefully uh, get more out of other food sources that you you, you digest in I guess so, that's one thing good so with that in mind um, week 3 is just telling you guys that yeah I'm still at it um, what I eat in a day or in a week I most likely will share with you guys uh, hopefully it helps you guys with whatever your you know your, your hunger pain comes in especially in Singapore because Singapore contact again there's way too much food and some foods you can't eat so you do need to be mindful of and try and stay away from caffeine caffeine is one like coffee tea for instance try not to drink that much of it fruit juice do that if you do need to take some caffeine maybe try some tea green tea perhaps that might work you know because everybody's IBS is different everybody's trigger the food, the food triggers are very very different so that you have to take that in mind so for me uh, this will be me signing off and I will see you guys in week 4 I guess take care bye bye